Hi guys, so I am going to be painting a Victorian corset and I am using a canvas that I already painted on for another project and I never finished it, so I thought this would be a great way to use this. So I'm gonna start out by sketching. So this is what I have so far. I just made the bodice and then I think I'm gonna go ahead and paint the white over top of this and, or it's a, actually a cream. So I'm gonna paint the cream over top of this and just kind of go from there and I'll outline it and everything. The corset itself was first mentioned in 1600 BCE. The corset got its name from the Latin term corpus, meaning body. This supports the chest and tightens at the waist, giving the illusion of the curvy figure. During the Victorian era, corsets were made of cotton, linen, twilled cotton, or satin cotton. The boning inside of the corset consisted of either wood or whalebone. Since the wood or whalebone was so hard, women wore chemises and bloomers under the corset. The chemise was a long dress-like top made of linen or cotton that stopped at your knees. The bloomers were cinched at the waist and just below the knees. These were important layers because of the heavy petticoat, hoop skirt, and actual dress that would go over this corset. So this is my first coat. Um, I'm going to have to go in and do a second, but this is the outline. So as you can see, I kind of cinched this in, like the figure that it's supposed to be creating, and I'm just going to wait for this to dry, and then I'm going to start on the second coat. So I'm back, it's a day later, and I have done a second coat on it, and I wasn't going to do that just to add, like not add extra time, and so now I'm going to do some fine details. On top of the corset sits the hoop skirt. The hoop skirt sits at the natural waist defined by the corset. During the 1870s to 1880s, hoop skirts were puffed and extending in a wide curve across the hips. Towards the end of the 1880s, women stopped wearing hoop skirts and started wearing padding instead, but by the 1890s, hoop skirts ultimately disappeared from fashion. Unlike hoop skirts, petticoats did not go out of style. Petticoats were made for additional volume to the dress and also provided warmth for the colder seasons. In the 1840s, women even wore five to six petticoats underneath their dress, but by the 1870s, they really only wore one or two. The amount of petticoats worn after the 1870s varied according to the season and the specific dress. So this is the finished piece and I'm actually super excited about it. It's really cute and I actually really like it. So thank you guys for watching.